It's nothing like getting up before the light and before the rooster. <laughs> I think it's uh, calling because now it sees my light in the forest. So here's gate number one, gates of Tora. <laughs> I'm just hiking it today. Uh, going to do what I can. Um, I don't start work until 12 o'clock today. Right now it's just after 6.30 in the morning. Uh, I'll hit up a few gates, see how I'm going for time at walking pace. Normally 21 gates takes me about uh, 3 hours 20 going in this direction. That's fairly moving for me with these kind of hills. So maybe I'll I'll get a few gates in. Anyway, let's see what happens, eh? See you soon guys. Oh, I've got my phone on me and so all that. I'll do a live video on one of my viewpoints. Uh, yeah, I'm hoping these dogs up here aren't out. Doesn't bother me if they are, I just don't want to wake the people with their annoying barking. <sighs> anyway, get them concentrate. Bye. Just at the top of the first climb. There's lyre birds calling everywhere. Somewhere in that direction. Oh, that felt like a good climb. Normally I'll have my wizard sticks, but they're not working at the moment. As you've seen from a video a couple of days ago, couldn't get them out. Calf was feeling it. Not much, but it hasn't been worked properly in a while, so tear up any, or get rid of any of that uh, scar tissue. I need to stop being such a baby. I'm still not going to run. Oh, cobweb. As much as I want to. Normally I jog this part along to the uh, first gate. This is the first flat bit, even though it's still steadily climbing. Not by much though. Alright, see so you at the gate. Okay. Is gate number two or gate number one, depending on how you count them. Uh, so the way it normally goes is uh, you start off at the car park. There is a gate there. I do count it as one, but you can either do that's gate zero, and then you go one for here, for the top of the Strini Bark uh, hill climb, and then you go, you go through the Strini Bark track, you go through, no not Strini Bark, I can't remember the name they call it, it's like Larry's Loop for me, I call it a different name, uh, once you've gone through Larry's Loop, you go out to the Strini Bark track, because it's a long way for the next gate now. You have to do a fair amount of Ks, as opposed to just one. It's like one point... One point two, one point four Ks from the car park to here. And then the next one, it's like six, seven k's roughly I'll find out when I get there uh, 
yeah and then from there it's not very far at all for the next one it's like a couple of k's going downhill uh, then the one after that if you're doing the true course so you'll be going down zigzag oh by the way the gate before zigzag the zigzag gate and then the one before that Becky Matthews and I have decided to call it Wombat Hill uh, it's Wombat Hill Gate still need some dedicated names for some of the others uh, you yeah so you get to zigzag and then the true course is to run down you go out towards the weir and you're going up the steep section of Blue Gum Hill Track and that is a very good climb for like an 800 meter hill climb it takes me 12 minutes and that's really pushing it and I need trekking poles for that it's a very hard climb but oh you feel so good when you do it I'll see how I'm going for time I don't think I'm gonna get the true course done today not when I'm doing hiking like I am moving at a fair hiking pace I know probably I'm not looking at my watch as it's nicely tucked under there I would estimate somewhere around eight and a half to nine minute per kilometer pace if I can maintain that when I'm tired at Yu Yang's then hopefully that will keep me under nine minute pace to do sub 18 hours uh, but the ideal goal is under 24 hours uh, we'll see what happens hey um, yeah so you go up I keep getting distracted <laughs> and sidetracked so this gate uh, Wombat Hill, zigzag, up Blue Gum, down Blue Gum, up Lodge Track. Uh, you get to the intersection, you keep going up Lodge Track. You get to the... Uh, what was the last name I called it? It was called the Gate of... Destruction, I think. Because the last time I went up there, there was a guy logging trees on his property that was just outside the national park. It was annoying me. <laughs> uh, and then you come back down. The next gate isn't that far from that one. But that's probably the biggest and hardest one to get to. Uh, yeah, and then you're coming down from that gate, you get to the bottom of Billy's Creek track, and that's one of the gates as well. And then the one after that, you get back to the car park. Dogs are out. <laughs> They probably see my headlights through these trees, but shit happens. Anyway, I'm gonna concentrate for a little bit more. It's hard to not run down this bit. Just because of its steepness for me. It's safer if I do. <laughs> Alright, see you guys. to all those lyre birds. I think this one's up in the tree somewhere. What's it doing up there?
definitely up there somewhere. Okay, that concludes Larry's loop. Not sure what time it is now, but obviously I don't need my headlamp anymore. Uh, so probably be a little bit after seven now. Uh, Larry's loop is 2.3 k's from the car park loop back to the car park. I never count this gate as, I don't know, I just, always found it to be too close to one even though it's longer than zero to one or one to two <laughs> uh, yeah these steps can be a bit slippery at times so it's good to be taking it easy there's a bridge for hash hashtag bridges of Torah and uh, hashtag Stairs of Tor. <laughs> hashtag, hashtag of Tor. <laughs> anyway. Oh, I feel those legs. Here we are. Whew. Wombat Hill. I'm going to keep trudging on. Now, we'll have to see if there's any wombats here today. More often than not, there is. Um, can't see any at this stage. Normally, they're just like up here. This will be the potentially the highest climb for today. If I don't go over to Clementus and up Lodge and all that, this will be the highest point. About 400 meters elevation. So, not very much, but the base level around here is roughly around 200. A little bit lower if you're at. Uh, Billy's Creek, not by much though. I uh, see no wombats. Sorry guys. Always love these viewpoints. One day I'm gonna scale those mountains. Or hills. As you can see there's a path just there. I'd love to figure it out. There's a track down there that I haven't been down before. I'm not going to do it today though. I'm just going to stick to my plan. Go from there. But how beautiful is it? Not sure how long it's taken me to get here today. But it's not really that far into the run. Or walk or hike. You can take shortcuts to get here. So come up from here, uh, Wombat Hill is down there, you come up through here and then along this part here, then over to here. Hello feet. Alright, let's keep going. Don't know how well this is going to look on the video, I can kind of see but I don't think it's really doing any justice. So the sun is like directly in front coming down that hill and I think it just looks absolutely beautiful.
<sighs> I feel like I should have brought sunglasses. <sighs> so good morning. <sighs> oh, that feels nice. <laughs> Don't walk towards the light. Or should I? <laughs> Do not go gentle into that good night. It's like no way near night time now. I can't even see where I'm going. Jeez. Oh, that's better. I feel like I might keep this video going. <laughs> I've recorded up this hill enough. Oh, that sun. So beautiful. Sorry if it's blinding everyone. Here in my mountains. I was going to do a live video around here. But my phone has gone from a full charge to flat in the time it's taken me to get here. I think it's time to get rid of it. I've had it for a long time but I'm not spending any more money on it to get batteries and screens and all that shit. Can't really afford it at the moment though. I've got a few things that I'm waiting to come in that I'll need to pay for. Alright, gonna concentrate here. See you guys. Can't believe I completely missed the live bird that was on the side then. That was zigzag gate and now for zigzag track. I was going to record a little bit more but there was someone walking up saying good morning. I thought it would be rude to ignore them. <sighs> Overall, I think I'm doing pretty good time. Just for walking. I feel like I could still do the whole 21Ks, but I'm not going to. I'm going to go down zigzag, enjoy a nice leisurely walk along the creek to the next gate. Uh, I'll get to a viewing point just down here and I'll show you the hills that you can, that you have to do for the 21 gate, oh not 21 gates, holy hell, uh, 7 gates, <laughs> um, trail challenge, 
and yeah it'll put a little bit into perspective for you the elevation so well not elevation but distance so this part here is the longest uh, section between gates and it's also the most severe it's got two major climbs one of which is the steepest of the entire national park that I have found at this stage uh, uh, can't see it here just yet it's gonna be a little bit down before I can show you be nice to get up there one day but by the looks of it I can see where the uh, other gate is from here nearly so it still looks higher there than it does at that point I was just wanting to get up to one day anyway see you soon when I can better describe the other locations of this course Bye. okay this is the best bit I could find to show these hills without the sun being too much in our way so we've just been coming down zigzag <laughs> this is one of the last zigs there's that one more zag <laughs> anyway so we go down here and then down and then about down here somewhere you can either go left or go right if you go right that will go out towards the weir which is about there somewhere and then you keep going you go up and around and up that one so that one's blue gum hill the steepest part is going up here and then you kind of come down and then there's like another zigzag bit through here and then you go up 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 up, up. and that's the top of uh clementis and lodge track now the gate is i have to put the screen back on it's about there just on the other side of the trees and if you can see that bit right there it kind of it's like a what do you call it ridge line you can see it coming down here so you actually get that viewpoint and it outlooks all of churchill or most of churchill there's another hill that kind of gets in the way a little bit but you can like, see the pondage and all that uh, and there's kind of a view there don't mind my sandwich um my almond butter sandwich which I find to be incredibly fuel efficient. Hmm, I love it. So yeah, that puts it a little bit into perspective. Now this uh, zigzag track is a little over one kilometre and it is a fair repeat if you ever decide to do it. Uh, I haven't done it <laughs> I do more severe ones it seems that my repeats are coming out and doing the seven gates and then turning around and doing it again for 14 gates which is a bit over a marathon distance and uh, like 22 2300 meters of elevation whatever that is in feet I don't know what 3000 I don't know it's not severe I guess it's a lot but I don't know I'm just gonna keep going bye so here's that bit I was telling you about that's the bottom of zigzag if you go out here you get to the weir it's only a few hundred oh about 400 meters from here roughly no less than that uh, so you go along there and then you go up that one and you kind of come back down you get back down around here and then it's back up major climbing i'll be able to show you a little bit here going up here so uh blue gum hill track is just on the other side of all these trees you kind of go that way and then back i don't know somewhere there on the other side of the river uh, don't go down there if you don't want your feet wet that's for that's basically vehicle 
access. So that bit there is the point I was pointing out earlier. So that's going up Clementis and Lodge. We're not going there today though. We're going down here. I haven't actually been out that part just on the grass there. I will one day just to see what's there. It's probably nothing. I could probably check it out now, but I'm gonna keep going. This bit can be rather slippery. The temperature has dropped considerably since I got down here. I mean like a lot. It's probably five to ten degrees cooler than what it was like ten minutes ago. So make sure you stay warm. I was getting really warm on the other side of the park. That bit hits, gets hit by the sun a little bit sooner than here, as you can tell. Uh, so, yeah. Like going up Wombat Hill, I was feeling the warmth. I was almost thinking I would have to uh, uh, start stripping off. Glad I didn't. So this is the other end of Clementis. You come either up or down here. I keep saying Clementis, it's Clematis. But anyway, it's a long climb from here. <coughs> Play. 20 minutes worth of climbing, give or take, depending on how fast you are. I know, I know I've been from the car park to there in about 40 or 50. I could be very wrong. Anyway, uh, the river back down that way. So if you ever get lost here, uh, best way to go is just remember which direction the river is and pretty much if you're on this side and you've gone up there just come back down this way you'll find a track eventually uh, it's quite visible as you can see might just take a bit to get there we'll just retrace your steps be safe So here's a, another hashtag Bridge of Torah. There is also a GA cache here. I have shown it a few times in videos. I'm not getting it today. So if you haven't seen my videos, you can go back to try and find it. They're usually specifically named. So it was a GA cache in video. It's somewhere around here. So right there, right in the middle of the river. So from here it's about a mile. It's about one mile to the car park from here. And this part is very runnable. There's a couple of spikes that you, you can still run up them. They're not very long. Uh, it's like... 10 meters but it goes virtually straight up <laughs> well not virtually but it's like maybe that and that's not a under over estimate maybe I'll record it when I get there Whew. anyway I've stopped talking time to get walking this really isn't doing it justice but the lighting coming through here on the grass looks quite nice. I love the shadows. This is only like 10 meters from when I was uh, saying to get walking and here I am talking again. Anyway, bye guys. What a nice flat track. There's no hills at all. Besides this one, it's 
So it's kind of right. That's about the angle of elevation. For those that have uh, come out here in the first time, there's a couple of spots just like this one. It doesn't really depict it in the video. But now it's gone flat again. Uh, so there's two of those after the previously mentioned climb where the seat was, was, is, there, there. Uh, anyway, getting back to what I was saying, there's two spots like that, there's that one there, and there's another one just a little bit up ahead. The next one has a seat at it. It's a good indication of how far you are from the car park. So it is roughly 400 metres from the seat, or the bump in the hill, or the bump in the path, I should say. There's a bump on the hill. So yeah, if you're looking for that last little push to finish off your run, should you uh, come out here, then that spot there is a good 400 metres runnable very runnable you can go very fast there i use that term in everyone's perspective so if you run if you walk at 15 minutes a kilometer maybe you could go uh i don't know 12 something like that who knows uh, if you run i'll say my my pace is usually around the 6.30s to 7s when I'm in here just because I save everything for the hills so the last bit if I'm not in like a recovery period of a calf muscle being torn then I don't know maybe I'll do like a 4 minute pace or something and it's quite fun yeah. Oh, can you see that? Right there. The grey kangaroo. Let's see how close I can get. Probably not very close. I'll just go over here. Don't be scared. I actually wonder. Just give me a sec. No, 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 no. Wait. No, it didn't work. So, I was trying to give it some bread. <laughs> I probably shouldn't, but anyway. Yeah, so uh, here's the second part I was telling you about. And I can already see the the uh, seat from here. A little bit hard to see it on the video or the screen. So this is probably a bit more severe than the last one. But if you wait to get to the seat, which is right there, then you can really open it up and finish your run, your run nice and strong and go from there. So it's about 400 metres to the car park. I might as well eat this sandwich now. See you at the gate. Hey guys, so here we are again. Uh, back at Billy's, well, I can't really say here we are again, but uh, here we are. This is the end of the Billy's Creek segment for today. Let's start for some others. Oh, they're doing some construction or something here. Anyway, I've got one more climb. Wait, I better do this. One more climb, which is a road climb for me. And then I'll nearly be at the car, so it's a couple more k's and I'll be finished. So, I'm going to leave the videos until then. See you soon. 
welcome anyway so all the climbing has been done I am now downhill for the rest of the way I'm currently on Jumbuck Road and in a couple of hundred meters I'll be turning left onto Kerry Road which leads into the National Park so it's time to finish this I'm well ahead of where I thought I was going to be even with the shortened version uh, yeah massively ahead of where I thought I was going to be <laughs> uh, so I'm happy with that see you at the final gate and thus we have nearly concluded the end of this hike so there's only been one section I ran technically and that was like the very start going down that uh, initial hill just because it was safer but now last time I was here it was dark and we could hardly see anything so now here's the gate <sighs> finished Bonito. time to see what I have done 14.7 kilometers 589 meters of ascent I'm still in my warm-up phase apparently and it's 9.41 I was predicting 10.30 yeah so I could go all the way to 15 k's if I wanted but since I'm not recording on Strava anymore I don't feel like I need to <laughs> I'm happy with what I've just done uh, only people that are going to know these statistics are you guys so thank you for watching uh, I think I am going to go to Macca's and buy myself a nice hot chocolate and go home and get this video up I should be able to get it up before work I've got heaps of time thanks guys bye <laughs>